Hawaii's Kilauea volcano erupted again today, sending a lava arc 30 meters into the air and across part of the floor of its summit crater. The northern vent in the summit crater began spewing lava continuously in the morning and then overflowed a few hours later. The eruption is contained within the summit crater and no homes are threatened. Some lucky residents and visitors will get a front row view at Hawaii National Park. Kilauea is located in the Hawaiian Islands, about 320 kilometers south of the state's largest city, Honolulu. The magma chamber beneath Halamaumau Crater receives magma directly from the Earth's interior at about 3.8 cubic meters per second. The magma chamber is exploding and pushing magma upward through cracks, said Ken Hahn, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Many feature lava shooting high, sometimes more than 1,000 feet, 300 meters. These fountains are partly produced because magma holding back the gases released during its ascent has moved to the surface through narrow pipe-like vents. The expanding magma supply is blocked by heavier magma that degassed at the end of the previous eruption. Eventually, enough new magma accumulates to force out the degassed magma, and the magma erupts like a champagne bottle shaken before the cork is popped. Scientists don't know how the current eruption will end or how it might change. The magma builds enough pressure that Kilauea opens a vent at a lower elevation and begins continuously ejecting lava from there, instead of periodically erupting lava from higher elevations. Han said scientists can predict days or even weeks in advance when lava is likely to erupt with the help of sensors around the volcano that detect earthquakes and small changes in the angle of the ground, which indicate when the magma is expanding or contracting. Han said lava fountains have been shorter recently. Steve Lundblad, a geology professor at the University of Hawaii at Hilo, said the lava vent may widen, reducing the pressure on the molten rock. We'll still have spectacular eruptions, but they'll be wider and not as high as before. On the other hand, Mount Etna is erupting in Italy. Volcanic ash is billowing from its summit. It passes directly above the port city of Catania, which lies on the southeastern edge of the volcano. The volcano is cone-shaped but appears almost circular in a vertical view from above. Etna's darker rocks and dense vegetation contrast sharply with the lighter colored surrounding countryside. Etna is a stratovolcano, a type of volcano capable of explosive eruptions, located on the east coast of the Italian island of Sicily. Etna's distinctive feature is dark lava flows that spread radially down the volcano's slopes. The largest eruption occurred on the western outskirts of Catania. The caldera is the most visible structure near the summit, a depression where the volcano collapsed inward. A smaller cone on the lower western slope indicates the presence of another, smaller eruptive center. Etna is significant economically to Sicily, with nearly a third of the island's population living on the volcano's slopes. The volcanic soil is fertile for agriculture and tourism, and the winding roads on Etna's slopes indicate intensive use of the volcano.